So I'll just jump right in. Uh, season five is wild. I've seen everything but the last episode. Oh, wow. um, and I just love seeing your character's uh, sort of chaotic relationship, shall we say, throughout the season. What was your reaction when you found out the direction that your characters would take this season? Um, and Rachel, I'll start with you. As always, we were surprised, <laughs> which has been one of the best parts about being on this show. We never really know what's coming. And so we eagerly await that first script to see what the fuck we're going to be up to this year. And it was great. I mean, it was nice to see their relationship continue to evolve and their womance continue to blossom. And I think for the first time in this season, not the first time, but, but anew, you see Midge trust Susie and really give over to Susie in a way that I don't know that we've seen before, which was really exciting to get to play. Yeah, I think people have this idea that we know what's coming. You know, we, we sit down for the first season and they talk about the whole show and here's what's going to happen. And we get nothing like that. Every every script shows up sometimes hours before we read them yeah. aloud at the table. In the um, middle of the night. <laughs> and you're kind of finding out a bit about your past that you had no idea about. Yes. And you're finding out what might come in your future. It's it's crazy. It's, it's like... It's like um, life itself, you know? I think that's what makes the show feel so spontaneous in a way, is that you're you're living in the moment of your character. You're unpeeling it very slowly as the audience is being fed it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think it's interesting seeing, you know, obviously the show is known for its costuming and the way that it presents a lot of its characters. But in this season specifically, we kind of, there's a, we, we move through time, shall I say. Um, what was it like getting into costume for those types of scenes and filming those um, different points in your characters' lives? You are the first person that we have been allowed to talk to about this. So it was wild. We, we went through a number of prosthetics tests together we're absolutely horrified yes. looking at each other, sitting it's in the very chair. disturbing. What they can do now with prosthetics is far too realistic, and it's yeah, you don't want to see that, folks. You got to look at your own mortality. You don't want to see fun to what's coming <laughs> down the chute because it ain't pretty. Yeah, um, yeah, it's interesting how wardrobe can really reflect how your character is changing on the inside. Yeah, Susie you know, has always been like a belt and a suspenders kind of gal, you know, super, you know, super secure, super scared, making sure, making sure better safe than sorry. And, you know, as she progresses in age, she loosens up. She doesn't have to wear a belt. There's nothing to keep up. She lets her shoulders lower and becomes more comfortable in her own skin. Yeah, Midge, uh, as you can expect, continues to deliver look after look and becomes the chicest older lady I've ever seen. But it was fun to get to take them into the future and to get to experiment with slight variations on Midge's signature look, her signature hair. I remember looking around the trailer and there were like four different versions of Midge's wig that were ever so slightly altered for the 70s and then again for the 80s and the early 2000s. Um, it was really, really fun. She had some really great work done. I should uh, take the name of her plastic surgeon. Yeah, find out who made too much too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, for Susie, it was getting to let go of her exterior armor, you know, her suit, I think, and her hat, and being bulletproof and feeling like that vest to be... Because she's scared, really, and doesn't want to let anyone in. And as in season five, she opens up more, and she lets Midge in more, and she reveals more. She doesn't need that anymore. She doesn't have to protect herself is severely yeah and i mean just touching on that aspect of susie's life we get to explore a bit more of her sexuality shall i say in this season specifically it becomes a little bit more overt um was that something that you were looking forward to exploring with your character and especially with her relationship with midge which i wouldn't say is wholly romantic but there is like some undertones there well i mean Mitch and Susie are in love with each other. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's platonic. It's not, you know, sexual, but they are... They're soulmates. They're soulmates. And they're, the respect and the, the bottom line, they are in love with each other. But I think the way Amy wrote 
to Susie and exploring her sexuality. I think she stayed very true to who Susie is. Susie would not have let Midge in until she was ready to let Midge in. She would not have walked around with that on her sleeve. Susie's already this wildly political character without trying to be. Just being who she is, looking the way she looks, and existing in a man's world, she's already tackling huge things every day that she leaves her house. But that was no one else's business. And just in season five, she's comfortable enough to kind of let her in a little bit more and kind of let her know, yes, I have a heart. Yes, it may have been broken. And that was not easy for Susie to do. And that we're friends for real. Yeah. Like that really is the moment where after jokingly denying it for so long, Yeah, it was for real. I think for Susie, season four, it started when she lost Jackie. Right, right. Realizing that was a friend and what it feels like now to lose a friend, you became even more precious to her. Yeah, I guess it's for Midge that it feels like that finally she can see something on the inside. Yeah. And that that means it's forever. That's something she's never gotten before. Amazing. Well, I want to thank you guys for talking with me on this. I love this season. I can't wait to see that final episode. Um, Yeah, I just I can't wait for everybody to see this show. 